And I keep my Nighthawk Scavenger and my Florian. All right, that was definitely the right play. All right, everybody, welcome to a brand new series. It is what it is. This is gonna be a fun one, guys. We have got a very fun individual, uh, another content creator, someone who releases not only daily gameplay, uh, but also tons of live streaming and awesome, awesome stuff. We got Country Fried with us. My man, what is up? Not a lot, man, not a lot. I truly appreciate <laughs> it, dude. This is yeah. gonna be a blast. I'm so looking forward to jumping into this. Dude, it is gonna be an absolute blast. This is gonna be a, an absolutely fun series. Uh, we're doing this by season, so we're gonna break this down a little bit for you guys. Just make sure you understand what it is we are doing. You'll notice below our little cameras here, we've got little prompts. Mine is vampires, Country Fried this week has humans, uh, and we're pitting them against each other. We've each turned our uh, creative minds on as best we can to create some historic decks. Best two out of three is the, uh, the format here. And we're trying to do some silly stuff, kind of janky stuff, nothing too competitive, but kind of fun in the process. So uh, we're gonna pit those decks against each other, as I said, in a best two out of three match. And whoever comes out on top after the season ends, uh, I don't know, do you want to say wins a prize, Country Friend? We haven't, we didn't really discuss that part. I don't know, man. I like the idea of prizes. I'm a competitive person and I'm not one to back down on magic, man. I mean, so, it, uh, it sounds to me like we got to put a prize on the line. We got to figure out what that's going to be, though. Man, I should have made Demir humans. I mean, I should have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I man. love it. Yeah, let's definitely, let's go with the prize. I don't know. All let's right. make it something small. Let's make we'll it something think of something small. small. Or something nice. Maybe like a maybe like a card or something. I know I've got Ooh. some cards in a fold over there that you'd probably like to get your hands on. Ooh. Okay, yeah, dude, I'm into that. I'm I'm getting rid of a bunch of stuff anyway, so I got plenty of good high value stuff for you if you want it. I'm not even worried about the high value. It'd be like <laughs> a full art land. Like I think, oh, I, I think okay. I've got some, I think I've even got some old John Avons in there. Ooh, oh, oh yes. Yeah, but, okay. Oh, yeah, it really, it really hurt me to lose one of those. All right, well, this just got a lot more interesting than we initially <laughs> anticipated. Um, so we are gonna be doing this, guys, for the next eight weeks. That is gonna be the entirety of season one. Country Fried and I are gonna be going up against each other with some awesome, very silly prompts. You guys are welcome to share suggestions with us on our individual channels, but I wanna lay out how you can keep track of who wins and where you can watch and all that stuff. So we are gonna each get a video every single week. I'm gonna have my gameplay perspective on my channel Channel, while Country Fried gets to have his gameplay perspective over there. So if you're watching on mine, go check him out. If you're watching on Country Fried, come hang out with me and we'll all hang out and it'll be a good time. Uh, no matter what happens, guys, we are here to have some fun and be positive. So no matter what happens, doesn't matter who wins or loses, we're yes, gonna have a grand time. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. As Country Fried said, it does, but uh, we're gonna have a fantastic time regardless, guys. So uh, I gotta ask, before we jump into, we're gonna go through deck techs and then we'll jump into the games, but Country Fried, how are you feeling? How are you feeling about your deck this week? Well, now not so good, now that we made it a competition. <laughs> <laughs> so, but no. Um, look, I'm not a big aggro player. I got humans. Uh, I was gonna go super oppressive and kind of mill, but I didn't think that'd be a whole lot of fun. Not not, not with what we planned for the series and stuff. Yeah. So it, it's got a lot of synergies within the humans and, you know, it's got some other stuff that uh, I, I, hope, I hope some of it you'll appreciate it. Some of it will surprise you. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it, man. I'm feeling this is kind of my realm. I like doing that. I like doing the outside the box. Let's, yeah, let's so go away from the meta and let's just have fun with it, man. Remember, you can have fun with magic. And I gotta say, uh, that was part of the reason when Country Fried and I first first chatted about this idea. Part of the reason I wanted to go over and check out him in particular, uh, for anybody watching on our channel, is solely because the decks that this man puts together are the funnest decks I can, I'm telling you, they are the most fun decks you can play. Uh, they are hilarious, they do silly, silly things, but they are worth it, they are so worth it. So please, again, if you're on my channel, go check out Country Fried. Link will, of course, be in the description below, but. Uh, yeah, be, but no, 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 oh, oh. We, can't, we can't just go forward. We can't go forward. Okay, no, my bad. There's a lot of compliments, man. I'm not gonna <laughs> just take compliments. It's, uh, I get shot fast. And then your channel, man. <laughs> uh, so I was live streaming and it resolves popped into my channel uh, while I was live streaming. I didn't know that it resolves was a 600, 800 pound gorilla in the, uh, in the uh, 
content creator verse. And uh, I don't know how that's even possible, man. Cause I look <laughs> at all magic players all the time. I don't, I don't know how it's even possible. And I really did a deep dive into your, uh, into your, into your channel. And man, I gotta say, I like the fact that you put out your own decks and you, and you check their, uh, their, the, the viability of them being on ranked and just kind of building on them. And I love the fact that you check out other people's decks because I put on my channel, I play non-ranked a lot just because yeah. I want to have fun and they're not very viable on ranked. But <laughs> you, like you took out one of my decks on the rank ladder and it wasn't very viable. But, uh, <laughs> it was a uh, fun time though. <laughs> I appreciate it, I appreciate it. But I do, I love that about your channel, showing the viability of the different decks and stuff and your own deck techs and stuff like that. And, and your content's just real clean and so, yeah, man, when you asked, uh, it was an absolute opportunity for me. So I do truly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, man, I'm just, and and then we talked and it clicked yeah. and, you're, and you're into this and I didn't feel like, uh, no offense to anybody, I didn't feel like you were flaky at all. No. Uh, I can't I can't really, uh, you know, put in a lot of time and effort with somebody that I don't get a good feel for. And uh, I gotta say, man, I got a good feeling about this. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. Well, there is no doubt about that, and thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. I think this is going to be a fantastic series. I am stoked to jump into not only today's deck, but the entire first season. We got a great lineup for you guys. But I think uh, at this point, we get to jump into deck techs. We're going to go ahead and do that, guys. We've got our own individual deck techs, so if you're watching on the channels, please again go check out the other person so you can see what they have to say about their own decks. But I think after that, we'll jump into gameplay. Are you ready? I'm ready, man. Let's do All right. this. Now that it's a competition, my decks for next week and on is just going to be really different. <laughs> we got this, man. All right, let's jump it, straight man. in, guys. Here we go. All right, guys, so here is our vampire list. So this is an interesting one. The idea, obviously, to have some fun, do some janky stuff, do some silly stuff. And so what we're going to try and do is turn three an Olivia Crimson Bride and hopefully get some cool stuff along with it. So this is kind of a reanimator list, uh, but a very clever reanimator list. So we have Soren Imperious Bloodlord. This is one of the best cards in the deck, and we do have it as a full four for this reason. You can drop this on turn three, minus three it immediately, to put a vampire creature from your hand onto the battlefield. Now, ideally, again, that's the Olivia Crimson Bride. If we can get that down, we can start pulling more and more vampire cards from the graveyard. We've got a number of different ways to throw them into the graveyard. So we've got Faithless Looting uh, as a three of here. On turn one, we can go ahead, draw some cards, discard some cards, start filling up the graveyard to get us where we need to be. We also have a very clever little card, Insolent Neonate. Now, this card doesn't seem like a lot, but it's so synergistic with the deck. Not only is is it a vampire but it's a one one for one so we can get it out turn one if it gets targeted with a removal spell if it uh trades off with something whatever we needed to do we can discard a card and sacrifice it to then draw a card now the card that we discard will hopefully be again one of these big vampires we've got zagras we've got drana we've got angie and we've got immer storm predator even in the three drop slot here we've got florian and nighthawk scavenger all really really good targets that we can get with olivia so the idea is very simply to sculpt our hands sculpt our graveyard to really get this popping off now we do have a couple of things that we can do with this uh, in terms of interaction with the opponent. We do have Thoughtseize here. Uh, just a quick way to kind of get rid of some stuff in the opponent's hand that we might be worried about. We do have Fatal Push as well as Infernal Grasp. I'm expecting creatures, right? Like this is a humans deck that Country Fried is going to be playing today. I have to imagine this just going to be full of creatures. And so I'm really leaning on just basic removal here, early game removal, that we can hopefully get rid of some of those things. Now, that may not be the case, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, we do also have a very important card here. As a one of, we have Helm of the Host. Now, this is ridiculous. We don't even need this card in the list. But what I would love to try and do, this is our little secret goal just between the two of us I want to try and get this onto Olivia Crimson Bride because it gets rid of that legendary creature play and allows us to just start creating tokens of Olivia that all do the same reanimation thing as soon as it attacks. And so the idea being we could just start reanimating all of our graveyard every single turn, which is ridiculous. Now, something to keep in mind here, this insolent neonate does a lot more too because we can continuously bring it back to sacrifice it to get a card out of hand and then bring it back to do it all over again. So 
This actually provides us with a lot of longevity, which is kind of silly from a little 1-1, but all very, very good, of course. Now, we'll talk about the power of the creatures as we go through the deck and as we get further into the actual games, of course. But one thing I do want to mention in the sideboard here, we, we have a couple of things, so some things that I'm very worried about. Obviously, hand destruction is something that is just always going to be good. If there are a lot of creatures that are like mana value 3 or less, we might want to side some of these Inquisitions in after game 1, just to allow ourselves a little bit of extra like, uh, let's pick this apart a little bit. So we'll see if that happens. I do have a Baleful Mastery. Now, this is important because if he's not looking to flood the board like crazy, or if he just has a Planeswalker that I'm a little worried about, this gives us an exile way to deal with it. Uh, not only that, but we can flexibly use it as a two mana or a four mana spell, depending on what we need. Uh, and the idea here is to get around indestructible. There are some humans that are indestructible. I'm very worried about that. Uh, and so this gives us a way to do it. That's also why I've thrown three extinction events in. These are exileable ways to deal with stuff. So we don't have to worry about destroy X. It just exiles it, gets rid of it. That's very important. We do have a ley line of the void in here. Uh, just as an option, this is just something I don't think we may not be going reanimator with the opponent. I'm not sure, but just in case, a ley line of the void could shut that down immediately and get us a very easy win in game two or three. So we're we're including that just as a as a two of here, I believe. And then we do have Bajuka Bog as well. Now on the red side of things, if he happens to have some artifacts, I want to have access to a braid. This also doubles as removal. And so if we happen to just get flooded out with tons of creatures in game one, might want to side some of the in just to kind of help us get there. Uh, Cathartic Pyre, kind of the same thing, but this also allows us to draw two cards and then, uh, or excuse me, discard up to two and then draw two. So uh, we'll see how that works. I don't know if we'll actually need it. The other thing I'm really worried about is life gain. Uh, and so Tabalt seemed like a really easy way to kind of shut that down. It attacks not just on the creature end, so we do get to spit out some creatures, but it's also just a planeswalker that he has to deal with separately of just a board sweep or anything like that. Uh, and so I wanted to add something in here that kind of shut that down, and this certainly does it. So. I'm excited, guys. I think this is going to be a really silly, really awesome set of games. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead. Let's jump right in. All right, guys, we are here for game number one of our best of three. Let's see what we can do. I definitely am choosing to play first. <laughs> don't be uh, scared. Don't be scared. Dude, I don't want to alarm you, but I have a pretty killer hand. Um, I, I'm I definitely keeping you, but I'm like one land away from winning. I mean, we'll see. Do you have an yeah. infinite combo in your deck? No. Okay. No, that seems a little... But, yeah, uh, I mean, if it's like hard to to make happen, I would say go for it. But uh, guys, as you okay. as you may be uh, realizing <laughs> at this point, we're still figuring out the rules as we go. <laughs> I don't know, man. If we want to do infinite combos, man, we can go back and galvanic, galvanic all right. uh, iteration and all runs. All right, we're we're faithless looting. Nothing too crazy. I Just a little that. draw. What is wrong with you? What are you talking about, man? What faithless looting isn't about? a broken card or anything. <laughs> um, <Nah. laughs> the card All right. that I was thinking about leaving oh. in here, I took out. Oh, come on. Uh, all right, I'm kind of glad then that I led the way I led. Uh, let's drop you down and let's go insolent neonate. Mm -hmm. I love this little guy. This ca this card is so good in this list. I'm telling you. Looks good, man. Looks good. You know what else is good? <laughs> What's that? Oh, come on. <laughs> no. All right. It's fine. Everything's fine. We we got this. <laughs> I'm so freaking dead, dude. I like your menace. I like All right. Your menace. That's fine. I'm going to take two. Two's no big deal. We can handle two. Um... All right. Discard a card, sacrifice, draw a card. Okay, uh, so it's kind of got to... We're going Florian. All right, let's attack in. Get you down. All right, and yes, we get to put that in somewhere. Nowhere. I, I don't get to play it. <laughs> I'm such a huge fan of Florian. Man. Florian's such so good, huge... dude. Yeah. Dude, so I've got a Rakdos tutor deck. And he's yeah. the reason I call it a tutor deck. <laughs> so good. Dude, Florian so kicks good. butt, man, I'm telling you. Um, another... Dude, you gotta what? chill out with these Luminarch Aspirants. <laughs> what? <laughs> you gotta <laughs> chill out with this. Alright, that's fine. That's cool. You go for it. You go for it, man. 
I encourage. <laughs> Attack in, yeah. I dare you. I okay, dare yeah, you. Right, right. Why does I dare else you. that thing has for a strike? I play him all the time. I'll be I honest, I'm one of those time. people that forgets it has first strike. Um Castle Locked Wayne. I like it, man. I actually thought about it when I was thinking about doing this as Dumir. Alright, I'm attacking in. I bet you are. Let's go. Bet you are. Mm. Hit me. Okay. All right, cool. We did it. Three damage. We're the best. All right, what can we take? Ooh. <laughs> uh, there's some good options here. I think we just take this, though. Of course. Uh, I knew it. What are you talking about? I knew it. Because he's so good, man. Yeah, he's ridiculously he's good. <laughs> so good. Why do people not play Nighthawks? He I is insane to me. I like, yeah, I absolutely love him. I think he's yeah, fantastic. Man. I like this one. Do you know about this one? Uh, yes. I I have not <laughs> played with it, but yeah, super super I'll good play card. With it now. Yeah, yeah. We should have uh, for the people watching mine, we should have used this earlier, but that's fine. All right, you got it. Go for it. <laughs> don't really want to. You don't think so? Don't you don't really think that's a great to. idea? <laughs> mm. I'll give you options. Ah, I like it. Well, I'll take three. That's fine. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not stressing about that. Well, not when you got a one three life linker up there. Just exactly. Huge. Oh snap. Um. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I wish I could. I can't. Uh. Okay. Let's do this. I'm. I'm showing you my hand here a little bit. <laughs> All right. Now let's, uh, let's get some stuff out of here. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. You're a Coco deck. Of course you are. Um. Each non-token human you control. That Vanguard is so good. Um. That Vanguard's great. Oh. Uh, Man. Okay. Who shares the Valve and put a woman counter on it? I mean. <laughs> like. All of these are terrible, but weirdly, I think that's it. Um, that is the right call. It I think really that's is. the right I call. I don't even mind telling you. That was my surprise. That was that's my a big surprise. That's a good freaking card, man. <laughs> I play it so much in Commander. <laughs> it, even, in my, even in my deck tech, I'm like, I'm hoping to catch him off guard with yeah. this one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, all right. It's fine, though, because... I Is have an out. Yeah, I have outs. I'm good. Is I think. <laughs> we'll um, see. Let's see. What is the right call here? I still haven't really shown you my strategy yet. Like, Helm of the Host is a bit of a tell, but <laughs> it, it doesn't really show you yet. I can't believe that I'm not getting more lands. What is going on? I was going to say, you're kind of having some bad luck here man that's all i'm saying i am i am and i agree 100 percent oh torrens is so good okay um got this make the right choice <laughs> all right we need for everybody on my team we gotta we gotta do some of this we gotta we gotta get further in Okay. Smart I of you to spread things out here. Well, and I think we got to go into a rebuilding phase. You're getting too far along. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> You're getting too far along for me. All right. Uh, or hold on. No, I think that's just the right call. Ugh. So we'd take nine. That's so bad. All right, but let's do this. Let's sack. Let's dig a little into the deck. Let's see what we can get. That's not super helpful. All right, down to four. Yeah, <laughs> we got this. Um, oof, this is not good. Um, okay. I'm a this is, only like, this is only like four cards in my deck too. You haven't seen everything. I know, else. but I'm definitely like super dead next turn. Um, and I don't want to attack in. Um, 
maybe. I don't think it was, I, cause we didn't have, I mean, we had no mana up, so. Oh, okay, cool. Oh man, you only hit one though. I know. How That's kind of surprising. That? How bad is that? It's cool, man. You got this. Yeah, 100%. All right, that's fine. Not fine? No, that's fine. You can't block them. That's fine. <laughs> How are you blocking them? What do you mean? She has three power. Enter the battlefield with creatures power less than can't block oh, yeah, creatures you okay, control. Yeah, okay, got it, got it. Haha. -ha. You're, right, you're right, you're right. I should have, I should have. But I think I have to four. like trade my entire team here, which kind of sucks. Um, I'm okay with it. Of course you are. Just, Duh. <laughs> um, all right, but hold on. I got a math really quick. Give me a second. Yeah, no problem. Four, five. That puts me back up at one. You got life yeah. going on. Yeah. So that puts me at one, and I keep my Nighthawk Scavenger and my Florian. That's all right, that was definitely the right play. Um. I really hate that you have that thing. Um, okay, let's do this. I like it. You can draw a card, I don't care. Nice. Ah, oh, man, I'm just not drawing what I need to draw here. Um, all right, that's cool. That's next to useless. Um, that will kill me. <laughs> uh, These are all good. These are all good, folks. I don't know if you can see my hand, but yeah, all you're good. <laughs> you're golden, man. Like you are fine. Okay, if I attack with that, whenever another creature enters the battlefield, so that's just all going to come at me. So I'm not going to be able to block next turn. I just got to attack. I think that's the only thing I can do. And maybe um, if you got a burn spell that can do, I've got some things. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> I'm not getting what I need to get at all. Um, I talked to the administrators before we played. Did you? All right. I think yeah. I'm regulating to I'm dead this turn. Uh, and are. so, yeah, I just take that. You got it. I think you just okay. easy kill. So, so dude, let's do this in a way that we can get max potential. That champion. Any is ridiculous yes bro. and look at that another counter and another counter <laughs> god man all right it's fine though it's fine you got game one but i'm telling you you will not have game two you will all not right. have game two i've got stuff for you all right, all right let's good. see sounds good cards we need to bring in mm. definitely those definitely that and definitely these i think yeah. Oh, I really jacked up my sideboard so bad. <laughs> Did why you really? Only, why is it only letting me have seven cards? Oh, I love that. That's fantastic. Why is it letting me have only seven cards? That's fine. Seven cards? What? It's not letting me access 15 cards. Dude, and that sucks. <laughs> is it that really you? sucks. Uh, No, actually, good point. No, it's only letting me hit the seven. That's weird. It huh. is. That's fine, though. That's fine. That's fine. I think we do something cheating, like this. Then you win by cheating. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, no. No, no. <laughs> I'm teasing. Um, I'm teasing. No, this is fine, though. This is fine. I can make it work. I still, I don't even know that I'm doing anything. I think I kind of want to see where this goes. I think I want to kill all your stuff. So sounds probably pretty legit yeah i think that sounds reasonable um i think i might take this out and i don't know though that was really good um i kind of want the full this full package all right i got this i'm good you got we're this? doing it this time we're killing you this time there's no I'm doubt still waiting. i'm still waiting for my deck to pop off still waiting for it to pop off and do it <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dude, yeah, easy. Oh, even better. All right, yeah, we got you. What happened here? Not even worried about it. <laughs> what happened here? Is that what you said? Was your opening hand that bad? So my opening hand had one land. 
Oh. One. Uh, that's uh, not good. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I'm gonna try and make this work. You got just, this. Nah, I don't know. All right, I'm just, just, I'm just gonna go with this. I think it might be too, but <laughs> has nothing to do with what your hand looks like. Um, all right, let's go this way. I think we throw these two back. All right. Faithless looting is such a good card. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you did have it. What are you, you talking about? Emerson what are you talking Brenner, about, man? In my deck tech, I even talk about that card. I was like, watch him try this. Watch him try this. What is this hand? Um, nice. It is nice. We're I think like I actually take this, though. Being really nice. Yeah, that would, that's pretty good. I think that's the option. That's sad, man. Thanks. You're welcome. I got you. <laughs> happy to <laughs> help. Know. Really happy to help, man. It's just what I do, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. We're gonna start with some counters on her first. That's cool. See if you got the removal for it. If you do, cool. we're going Florian. It's we're starting so off nice, vastly man. similar to the previous to the previous game, but I promise you things will be different. He is so nice. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, killer. Might need to utilize just, this. No. All right. Unfortunately, I think I gotta let Florian kind of do its thing. You think so? I think so, man. I think so. It's sad. All right, dude, I need a land. I just need one land. That's literally all I need. I like and those I, things. Yeah, this is so good. Thalia's Lieutenant on top of this is ridiculous. Katilda is like one of the most busted two drops in current rotation. I think She's it's so good. She's pretty amazing, man. She's pretty amazing. Too bad yeah. you aren't playing werewolves. <laughs> we should have. That would have been so much more on theme. Well, no, 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 no. Crimson Bride definitely more on theme. All right. Um, that's an unfortunate draw. But you know what? Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Let's I, I do this. Like where I'm at. I kind of like where I'm at. Not okay. Gonna lie. I'm glad you feel that way. Um, I do. That's, I do. That's good. All right. Let's do this. Let's attack. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and let you do your thing. That's cool. It's good, man. He's so good. Why oh yeah, hundred percent. Use him so much more. So he's my second favorite card out of Midnight Hunt. My favorite card, without a doubt, hands down, not even an argument. Is yeah, uh, Meat Hook Massacre. Yeah, hundred percent. It's so good. I love Meat Hook Massacre. Oh, I should have. Oh, all right. We may have messed up, but everything's fine. It's cool. We got this. I'm not even worried about it. I figured you'd appreciate this. Yeah, I do. See, I definitely messed up. I should have done that on upkeep. I didn't put a stop on your upkeep, but it's no, cool. Fine. Everything's fine. That's fine. That is fine. Um, let's see. I think this is probably good right now. Yeah, go for it. Please hit me. I would appreciate it. Are good. That'd be great. For real? Just go ahead and yeah, give me hit me some for some damage. That'd be cool. Okay. Thanks, man. That was really nice of you. <laughs> you're welcome. Why do, do I keep trick? doing that? Do you have a trick? I don't know what you're talking about, man. All right, I we're gonna hit you. Trick. Oh man. Do don't you tell see me the trick? Some... Don't... You don't even know what I'm talking about, man. You have no clue. I can't see what you got. I see you got thought seas. That's. I do such have thought seas. I'm gonna such get that out of there. You know, in the Demir package, I was thinking about running. I had it all over the place. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's dirty. Bite me. It's <laughs> dirty, man. It's it was dirty. a little dirty. I'm sorry. <laughs> I figured not, humans, not, man. I gotta have something. I'm not even gonna lie. I liked it. Did it's you? Yeah, was it? It's good, was, man. It's it made good. you happy. Yeah. It's That's good, man. The right call. Yeah, hundred percent. All right. Um, Next turn might be a killer turn. We'll see. I have high hopes. Ooh. Okay. Well, I mean, obvious first. Let's let's get in for a little bit here. Okay. What we got? What we got? What we got? A ton of cards. At least three. At least three. All right, we'll throw that out there. Um, I think the play is that. And then this, yeah, yeah. I think that's it. 
All right, we'll we'll pass. We got you. My sunrise. What are you talking about? You gotta leave sunrise alone, man. I'm not touching sunrise, man. I don't think I literally can touch sunrise, so. That's not true. No, that is true. Oh I'm pretty gosh. sure I don't have anything. Um, it's cool, man. I got you. No, because you took me giving him three power so I could get the card draw. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. This is this is the fun. All right. Let's go. So Bringing that out. Nice. I love Here her. we go. I love her so much. <laughs> All right, which of She's these do so I want, dirty. though? All right, we'll go this route. <laughs> well. <laughs> All I'm right. I'm not even gonna lie, man. This one may be yours. I think it might be, <laughs> but we will see. Yours. What it's not I guaranteed. Out of this? What can I get? To, we got all legendary vampires on the board, bro. That's the <laughs> so. that's the fun of this deck is that even if you kill Olivia, it doesn't matter. I know, which is what I try to tell people using her. Just run yeah. Florian. Just yes. Just bring Florian back with her, and he stays. It solves the problem. Um, what you thinking, man? You gonna block? I think I think I've got one chance to not. Block. Wow. All got, right. I, I think I gotta be able to put it at three. And you realize I get to look at the top 10 cards of my deck now, though, right? Yep. And if you get her, then you get her. But it's it's the Hail Mary or... Let's go this nothing. route. Yeah, sounds, sounds good. All right. <laughs> um, Let's go. This does help, but... Come on. I wanted. Not how just, I wanted. Just don't kill me, please. Oh, this triggers first. Can I not stack? I gotta be able to stack the triggers, and I just did it wrong, right? You didn't get full control, did you? Uh uh. Dude, you messed up. That's on you. Oh, uh, I know. <laughs> so let's see. What does that do for me? Not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. Well, um. I'm nervous. That one card could be a game changer. Like, I have no clue. Could be, but. Not the way but it you got isn't. the board set. You got okay. the board set perfectly. That's the goal. That was the hope. Um, however. Uh-oh. I don't like that however. That's a scary well, however. <laughs> I'm just not a fan of her, but I'm a fan of this card. Oh, very nice. But good yeah. thing that doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't. Uh all right. Well let's let's just be somewhat aggressive here let's do this yep just to see what we get no absolutely let's play it out all right let's show what, that's let's cool show what tricks we have uh definitely here we're gonna attack in it seems good i mean you <laughs> literally good. have to do something about it so seems good you're gonna look at a good joke cards yeah, hundred percent. That's the plan. <laughs> uh, I love him so much. I hate playing against we'll him. We'll go this route. Man. We'll just keep these coming because these seem pretty good. They are, man. So underestimated. All right. All right, dude. You better have a hail mary this turn because otherwise, I, this is it. I have the biggest hail mary ever, right here. If you, you throw an Esper Sentinel out there. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> well, what would an Esper Sentinel do for me right now? Absolutely nothing. I think you're right. just playing into the hype. <laughs> Here's my Hail Mary. All right, go, go for it. Super big play. Yeah, big dude. Big brain play. Big brain play. I'm gonna create it. I'm, gonna I'm create so it. impressed right now. <laughs> you have no idea. All right, are you ready? <laughs> yep. Here's my big brain play. Boom. I win anyway. <laughs> And I was gonna gain three life on the glorious Heck yes. Alright, I feel good about that. I feel so much better now. This is this is the anticipation, man. This is the hype. We're one one right now. This is we are. exactly we are. what we needed. Um we are. I think I think we need to maximize on these. I think I think my land ended up really weird. How do you end up really weird with twenty four land in such a small Nah, I'm gonna package? keep that out. You have twenty four land? Yeah. I have 24 land, to be fair. You do? Yeah, I do. I kept it at 24 yeah. because I'm trying to cheat out the Olivia. I'm not trying to just like straight player. 
I mean, I can, but like, that's not really the goal. Uh, in case you haven't pieced it together, here's the goal of the deck. Are you ready? Because I think this is hilarious. It will never happen. The pieces will happen, but the goal is to use Sword's ability on turn three to drop the Olivia. Following that, I want to put Helm of the Host on Olivia because it takes away the legend, so I can just continuously play a lot of Olivia's, continuously reanimate my entire graveyard. It's, and it's a play after my own heart, man. I like see? It. That's that's the jank. That's what I this like it, man. that's what it is what it is is it. about. That's all it is. I hate playing Street Fort. Hate playing Street Fort. I do it, but hate it. This is just a whole bunch of plus one plus one counters. Let me get out of control and let you try to catch up. Dude, you got this. Don't even worry about it. I don't know, man. What is with my opening hands? Alright. That's fine. Yeah, dude. I'm keeping. I feel good. I feel pretty good. Yep, I feel alright. Uh, why is it always that? <laughs> alright. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. I'm gonna give you a card, but then I'm gonna take one away, so it it neutrals out to nothing. It's fine. You got a lot to pick from. Why do you always have Luminarch Aspirants in your hand? Um, I don't know, man. Why does she pop up in every mono white player's hand? That is a problematic card. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah dude, we general, gotta take the general. That general's nasty. Yeah, well, and against this deck with Olivia, like... He's so nasty. Oh, yeah, I know the sack ability on him. Yeah, and it's, ridiculously and it's even, good. And it's not even non-token. It doesn't say token yeah, yeah. or non-token, just humans. Just humans. And and all the tokens so I make are humans. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I really wanted to see if I could just put, a, put no out pass. a straightforward kind of aggro deck with just a bunch of synergy without just going full throttle control. Yeah, I get that. It's cool, man. You got this. I don't know, man. The way you say it... I knew it. I knew that was coming. I gotta have something. I, There's a... I guess. There's an upcoming problem, though, with the way uh, things are working out for me. Never mind, the problem is solved. Uh, that was not going to be... No I didn't land. have a, a land. <laughs> so no that land. was really quickly going to uh, lose me the game. It now here's the problem. I drew into my third land, too. Fair enough. That does make me feel a little better. So the problem is I don't have anything in my graveyard, so I'm just going to keep the game a little slow right now. We're just gonna okay. let you do your thing. I I like doing my thing. That's cool. I'm happy for you, man. <laughs> no. I'm really happy for you. I gotta tell you, I'm kind of happy for myself. Why did I not <laughs> put all the counters on her? Why did I? I don't know, do dude. That? You screwed up. <laughs> I did. I did. You could have so gotten bad. an attack in. How I dare know, you? And it would have been glorious. Yeah, it would have been pretty good. All right, so check it. You ready? Mm -hmm. Immediately. Uh, let's throw... Hmm. What do I want to throw this away card. here? What about... Uh, let's do is, this. Is the Falcon Wrath from Crimson Val, is it not a one drop? Is it two drop? The is Falcon Wrath from Crimson Val. You can... That does the kind of the same thing, right? You can discard a card and sacrifice it. Am I? Uh, maybe I'm I think. It no, I don't. I think you might be right. I don't know for sure, but that insolent neonate is just such a good enabler. So I just went with that one. Um, yeah. And it may oh, be that. Oh God, no! <laughs> Crap! <laughs> You're the worst. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, here we go. That's a problem. Um, you're gonna deal f fourteen. <laughs> It's fine, everything's fine. Oh no. Don't kill Soren. Why would you be that cruel? Because oh no. Alright, let's do this. Um I have hope. I have so much hope. And Faithful is looting? That's oh. a great card. It's a great card. Oh Ooh. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this oh, yeah. might have actually changed the math a little bit. Um Like you right. like you got answers? I'm just hoping you don't. I might have answers. All right, hold on. I gotta think this through though. So that should be able then to get rid of both of those. Okay. Oh shoot though, I don't have the land. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. He does have that ward ability that is amazing. I'm not so much worried about that, actually. Um, all right, we got to do this because we just got to get stuff out there. Oh, Drana. That. Yeah, that's a nice touch right there. Legendary yeah, I thought Drana would be a nice one. All right. Um, she is, man. I thought you were grabbing the Predator. No, I mean, no. All right, we got to do this. I think I'm just going to die, though. Like, I don't think I can. I don't know. I think it depends if I pull champion lamb hold off the top. I think you just get it anyway, though, right? Do I? Let me get it through. Maybe not. Four, four. So you have 12, and then you would have three. And then if I spread the plus one, plus one counters to where you have to block yeah. the specific one. I think you've got it. Dude, yeah, I am I'm I telling so. you I was one land away from having the solution. Well, yeah. You know. Horses <sighs> and hand grenades. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright. Just gonna block here because it doesn't really matter. Uh, God. Okay. I had oh, extinction event in oh hand. My gosh. I had extinction event in hand. Uh, aggro man aggro so god yeah, all right GG's, well dude. i like this man that was good that was round. really good dude, we're gonna for... we're gonna jump to talking about this uh right now all right dude so we made it through the first game we made it through but uh you took the win i'm a little upset about that i'm not I'm not upset. Of course you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I was really upset that I didn't bring Demir, but I got to tell you, I yeah. was really impressed. I'm not an aggro player. I'm yeah. an aggro player, but I wanted to make it fun for both of us and definitely have a shot to see some of the gameplay and some of the cards we were playing. So I just wanted the synergy and it was, yeah. it works, man. Humans are strong. Humans, Humans is strong. really good, dude. I'm telling you, one of the key cards in your deck, I mean, one of the key cards that really popped out to me uh, throughout your games in particular was, of course, Luminarch Aspirant. Throwing those counters around made a huge difference. Mm -hmm. However, I think one of the best cards in the deck that we really didn't get to see highlighted quite as much was Katilda. And we kind of talked about that in the game, but how good is Katilda? So Katilda. strong. Katilda is great, and Katilda is very strong. The only the only downside that I have with Katilda is the yeah. legendary rule. Yes, hundred percent. If she wasn't legendary, man, she would be. I mean, she'd probably cost a million dollars. Well, I was gonna say she'd probably be a little too broken, right? <laughs> oh yeah, there would be a lot of problems with her. But no, she is so good. She and yeah. I, I took into consideration that she only had protection from werewolves because that was the only information I had about your deck was, was yeah. going to be vampires. Uh, yeah, yeah. And the downside of that being protection from werewolves was not great enough to not include her in this deck. Oh, she of course, the, you have to. The tap that humans can add mana, the colors, the yes. six uh, cost, put plus one, plus one counters across. But and the, the other one that we didn't get to see that I was really looking forward to, uh, well, no, we did. We did. Champion Lambo. Yes. Dude, that Jim card was Lambo. a game changer because, I mean, in that first game, I was like, okay, if I can leave up blockers, I might be okay. But in my thought process, I'm like, if you just throw a creature down, now all of a sudden my board cannot block. Like, there's nothing I can do. And so I was like, well, I guess I have to attack in and hope for the best. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm telling you, in that game three, had I had one more land at any point during that turn, after playing Faithless Looting, I would have been done. But... Up until that point, if I had had one land, I had an extinction event in hand, I could have gotten you. Because the next turn I was going to be able to, I think, yeah. I was going to be able yeah. to take you out. But I just couldn't get that land. I was so upset. <laughs> extinction event is such a good card, man. I, when I was building this, all I kept hoping was, all I kept saying to myself is, man, if he went Shadow's Verdict, we're dead. Yeah. We're dead to Shadow's Verdict. And you know... In Shadow hindsight, I should have. Absolutely throttled us, but that. The I was really worried. So part of the reason I don't know because I I I've, I felt like the extinction yeah. event was good because it. I mean, Shadow's verdict does too. I was wanting to exile. Like that was the most important thing because I didn't know if you were going to be running into any kind of indestructible or you know anything like that. Like you could have played heroic intervention or something just to protect your stuff. I was like, I can't risk that. So I have to do something to get around indestructible. So I was like, well, extinction event comes to mind. Shadows verdict comes to mind. Both of those are very good options. 
but I went with Extinction Event be thinking that you were going to have like an overabundance of, in particular because there's so many good human two drops, I was like you're probably going to have an overabundance of two drops, probably a three drop here and there, and like you might top out around that. So I was like, that'll be fine, but in hindsight, I think Shadow's Verdict, obviously a better option, but dude, so close, so close. Yeah, it was, it was, but I, I kind of dis I kind of agree and I disagree. I was worried about Shadow's Verdict, but I did spread, I, I spread out yeah. my creature package just yeah. in case if you were running uh, Extinction Event. And the thing that, the only thing that kept, that I kept in mind of why you might not be running Shadow's Verdict is because you were going to be running creatures for three and less too. Yeah, a hundred percent. And it worked against you. Yeah, and Florian. Man, how do you like Florian? Oh my god, dude, gosh. so good. Such an all star in that game too. Um, I mean, being able to look through the top. I mean, and in one case it was like ten cards or something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I'm no, looking through a sixth of my entire deck at that point even more than that and then like i just get to select whatever i want i'm good to go and it's like I it's know. amazing uh and it does kind of push you to want to play towards more of the second main phase which you should really do anyway but um it kind of forces you more into that play pattern which i think is actually a good thing just to practice especially if you're like a newer player or something like that it kind of pushes you towards that uh which is kind of interesting but De definitely great point definitely great point yeah. i play him a lot in my ractal sacrifice list yes uh just because the tutor ability off the top and how wide you can go with creatures and how yeah. big they can get especially with like the emerstrom predator and stuff like that. yeah 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 um he just looks at so much you just start yeah. okay well what do i want what what, what answers <laughs> do i need but yeah. he does he does force you into the second main phase and yes and I'm a really impatient player, and sometimes he catches me on that. Sometimes he really does catch me on that. Yeah, so, no, I get that. I definitely get he's that. He's sweet though, and Olivia is sweet, and that sword and cheat for Olivia is beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. It was a fun time. I, uh, I was really hoping I was going to get to really go off with the Helm of the Host, but that was the ambitious, like, over-the-top play, so I knew that was unlikely. Um, and I actually only have one Helm of the Host anyway. It just happened in the first game that I was able to get it, but uh, that that Sword into Olivia play can be a game-changer, and especially having the Insolent Neonate uh, turn one a lot of the time, you ditch one of your other big vampires, turn three, you're able to get it back, plus the Olivia. It's, I mean, it's insane. And I really, I really got to compliment you on how you ran your vampire package with Olivia. Because I <laughs> yeah. see a lot of people run packages with Olivia and they're doing the recursion and stuff like that. Like, yeah. I do, I, even I do a lot of recursion videos, Greg, I recursion. And, yeah. Uh, she, she makes it in there. What I try and tell people is you can play legendary vampires. Yes. You can other legendary yes. vampires out. Play to her strength. Play to Absolutely, her strength, yes. Her weakness. Yes, and I agree. I, I was really impressed with that play. I really was, man. The fact that you just kind of honed in on that and you yeah. realized it, uh, I was like, Oh, well, and I assumed, <laughs> and I'm glad that I assumed this, but my assumption was that if you were going to have much removal at all, because you are a humans list, so I figured you'd probably have a lot of creatures, the chances of you running a sweeper are next to nothing. Now, maybe I'm wrong, but... I did, I did but you didn't ever see it. Okay. Hook Massacre. Oh, I did. Okay, no, you had it in your hand at one point. That's right. That's but my right. thought was, if it's Meat Hook Massacre, I can actually kind of just outpower that at some, like outpace it because I'm trying to cheat stuff out so early. I was like, ah, it'll be fine. I don't have to worry about that as much. But I really was thinking if you were gonna have a lot of removal, it was gonna be one for one removal. And I was like, if you just remove Olivia, it's gone. So I can't risk that. I need to do the legendary vampire trick and keep stuff out. And that's exactly what you were talking about. I wanted to make sure I could keep those things around. Uh, so I'm yeah. glad it worked out for the most part, but yeah, dude, you yeah. won it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Game and, one and is yours. Did, my sideboard did have blood in the snow, but my package really, the, the swamp package in the landfall just kind of hung me up a little bit. I think yeah. This list should probably definitely just be Celestia. Yeah. And just, Celestia and just, humans and just, is good. Yeah, just play off the attributes of the humans and probably yeah. take out everything swamp and throw in Thalia's and make everybody's life miserable. But you're <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, dude, yeah, no, congratulations. It, you Thank made you. it through game one with the win. We have got seven more games this season, guys. Now, I just want to remind you, each, each episode, we are going to have another theme similar to this one next week is Creatures, which is my deck, versus Spells, which is your deck. 
and I already have a couple of ideas, but I'm a little worried about them. We'll talk about that more in the next episode, which will be on the, this following Tuesday. So we're going to release these videos every single Tuesday for the next eight weeks. I hope you guys enjoy them. I hope you guys had some fun with us today. Please leave a like, subscribe to the each channel. Make sure that you're up to date with both because that way you will get notified for both sides of these videos. Check out Country Fried if you're on my channel. And again, if you're on Country Fried's channel, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. But uh, dude, I appreciate it, man. Such a fun starting episode. Are you stoked for round two? I am, man. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm definitely taking it more competitive. I'm definitely I like it. more competitive. Do it. No, we'll yeah, have, it's, it is jank competitive. So have some fun with it. It's going to be great, I guys. Will. Well, thank you so much, man. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next episode of It Is What It Is.